Okay, so let us begin. So here's what I've done. Let, this is uh, Vivaldi browser. So let me unstack this. Basically in Vivaldi browser, uh, you open, I've opened two tabs. So once you open two tabs, this is one tab, this is one tab. Then you, you can right click on a tab and just say stack tabs by host. And once they are stacked here, I right click and say tiles tab stack. So this is how I get it. It'll be easier to uh, explain this way. So that is what I'll be doing. So we'll, we'll start with this, the most recent day. Kindly, kindly everybody mute themselves. Okay. Yeah, there was this, uh, quite a few people had asked me about this also, and also about uh, expiry day on 7th. So we'll, we'll walk through those days. I mean, definitely a few uh, points, few places uh, will be there during the day when it gets a little bit tricky. So we'll, we'll see what we could have, do, we could have done. Uh, initially, I and mean, this, is, this is a general trend identification uh, idea. So once the day opens, I suggest go for this 15 minute interval, at least initially. Later you might, if you want, you can drop down to three minutes. But initially, just go for uh, 15 minutes. And once the 15 minutes uh, are done, then this is complete. 9.30 is complete. Uh, sorry, you would have to wait for uh, 9.45 in this case, because uh, this is used for comparison. Because then this and this comparison, you get this, this idea. Or you can, you can drop down to three minutes also and check this uh, initially. For the first few minutes, this will this will tell you immediately the difference PECOI change. Difference of PECOI change will tell you immediately what is the direction. So initially, you you could do this uh, because you would get this at nine twenty one itself. But after some time, uh, by nine thirty or so, it it would be good to switch to fifteen minutes to get a good idea because otherwise. Uh, uh, three minutes is going to be confusing. It may not be confusing on all day, but on sideways, it could get confusing. So you can you can check both uh, and then decide. But initially at, at 921, you will get this reading. This is the difference of total PEC OI change, which are these columns. Okay, here, before we proceed further, uh, you can, we have select columns here. So you can, uh, whatever columns you want here, you can add. Now we have uh, total volumes and slot-wise volumes also. So three minutes slot-wise volume, you can get using C volume, P volume. And these total volumes are for the day. Total C volume, total P volume are for the whole day. And these are time slot-wise. So, I mean, this many had requested this, so we have, we have uh, added it and, uh, and this uh, total CEOI, sorry, total PEOI change, total CEOI change was also missing recently. So we have added it back. So over here, I've selected uh, uh, total CEOI change, total PEOI change. I'll just remove these columns, to OI columns. I do right now. Uh, total CEOI, total PEOI. I don't need this. Why change is there? It should be, it should be in. Now, basically, these are total CEOI change, total PEC, total PEOI change for the day. This is for the day. So, and then these columns, CEOI change, PEOI change, are for this particular time slot. This particular three minutes. These are the OI changes. This, these are for the whole day. So, so basically, difference between this, these two time slots is going to be this difference between these two is going to be this. It's just that. So this is three minutes or based on whatever time interval you have selected, 
these y changes are for that particular time slot time interval another thing to note here uh, as i said this is going to give you the trend for the day take this as the initial trend if this is green that means put writing is higher or call writing and along with it maybe call writing is lower but in this case if you see both side both side uh, for this particular time slot same number of almost same oi had got uh, added but the difference between these two time slots uh, is this overall overall currently this is leading like the put is leading so put writing is more so this is time slot wise and this is the difference of of this overall this my this minus this this minus this this is total for the day is this particular difference so we are saying for the day it is bullish now this can change going forward but do note that this since once as oi total oi change gets more and more for the day this changing will take time as the day goes so you will have to use some other techniques to identify the weakness or ch coming changing of trend so one thing is oi change trend will tell you the difference in this the difference in this is this so over here this positive numbers here indicate that more and more put oi is getting added than call oi comparatively call oi is getting added less here because this also is getting built up this also is getting built up but overall if you see put oi is getting added so the uptrend is getting stronger here uptrend is getting stronger even though here it doesn't on the price chart it doesn't indicate that let me confirm the day is correct here okay this we are looking at latest data this is yeah latest data this is date click just want to confirm this so even though here it says uh, uh, the price is not moving here up on the chart here it indicates that it is getting stronger at the moment and once this turns negative it is starting to get weaker now of course now we doesn't mean that we start shorting over here or going long this going long here is fine because we are just positioning along with uh, the sentiment for the day so this is the sentiment for the day which is up so initially we might go on that side so but over here it's it has started to get negative over here it means that now the balance is has is starting to change another thing to note here is the pcr of oi change pcr of oi change is going to tell you along with pcr here if it is around 1 then it means that overall this could be sideways it could be sideways overall even though this is wholly positive this is positive trend is getting stronger here this hovering around 1 is it should move away from 1 if uh, we are to uh, say that uh, the trend is going getting really strong over here it has increased slightly it's just around 1 it has increased slightly over here but then started to go down again here so you can keep an eye on pcr of oi change also this pcr of oi change is basically uh, this divided by this so the total oi uh, poi change divided by cui change so this will give you a overall picture of the oi change for the day which side it is tilting so now here it gets now to once we decide that uh, as i said you have to rely on this initially just uh, go on this side so we are saying it is positive there is a gap also gap up open also now how how when do we decide that this the trend is getting weaker this uptrend is getting weaker for that you will have to look at the unwinding that is that this percentage changes that we are showing here are the build up and unwinding so whenever there is a negative number it is unwinding so look for something around 1% and more for the unwinding to be significant this chart here if you click on the top if you click uh, y change percent y change this will give you the unwinding chart below here this is the unwinding chart and here you need to see if you are getting something that is uh, more than uh, 1% so here we see that the put y change is minus uh, 1.14% so here this is unwinding on the put side 
unwinding on the put side means there is a risk on the put side so people are traders are thinking that there could be a risk on the downside so now this has to be uh, confirmed on the price chart I mean, you can't just uh, use this as an indicator and then just go and short it. Because this, let me see over here when we get it. We got 1%. Where was that? There was one before that, one night. Let me check the time. One card. Okay. Why is it not visible here? That is strange. Just give me a second here. is very strange okay this is this has okay 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 i think since i have uh, compressed this uh, let me let me undo this unstack that okay 12 it's 0.76 actually what this has done is when i am this i didn't know about this uh, when this uh, the, we are decreasing the area of the chart uh, looks like it is summarizing the information because if you see here here what is happening is it is showing this as 12 to 12 4 actually so it is summarizing the information so we don't want that so i'm going to check with this uh, this with my team so until that time i'm just going to unstack this and show this separately so here, if you see, it is still 0.76. So we need some something like 1% uh, minimum, which you got only around over here, 230, 230. This, this was the uh, thing that uh, many people had asked me about. It. Over here, that whether there was any signal uh, over here See, it may not be overall. This was a sideways day, and that is what uh, it, this was. It, this was indicating it because uh, if you don't get uh, one percent uh, unwinding signals over here early in the day, I mean, the, of course, first uh, half an hour, forty-five minutes, you can just forget about it because this whole thing is just traders setting up their their positions. And uh, this being Friday, uh, there is also additional buildup happening for the week. For the week, people are initiating uh, their positions uh, that they are going to carry for the week. So a lot of buildup will be there on Fridays. You will see this differently. On um, other days, you will see that at least for the half, half an hour, first half an hour, you'll see all both sides build up. So you won't get any indications over here. You just have to rely on... Uh, the diff once this is positive uh, in overall sentiment is positive you can go in that direction initially but over here by this time around 10 10 30 and after that you should get uh, one percent signals now once 12 12 30 has passed and you don't see any signals that that kind of trend is probably going to go on so if you see this now this kind of trend will go on for the rest of the day for the because until this time there was no even over here around 12 o'clock there was some unwinding but not significant yet. if you see this is only still 12 o'clock uh, and here it's only point minus 0.76 percent on the put side so this down uh, uh, it was starting the unwinding was starting but here then it just reversed the unwinding stopped so there was nothing significant here so you would not be looking to short or anything over here and by this time it was almost 2 30 when we got uh, the unwinding signal and along with put side uh, there was a significant uh, call side also ideally uh, what you should see is you should see a bar something like this where uh, there was build up happening on the call side 
and uh, unwinding happening on the put side. So this should be opposite. So it indicates a strong unwinding signal. But here, if you see, let me zoom this. Uh, here, if you see at 230, I mean, this was like minus 0.5% uh, on the call side and minus 1.29 on the put side. So this unwinding was not significant. After, uh, as it gets close to three, then again, unwinding of put, unwinding of intraday trade starts. So this also will not be significant. So this, as per me, I mean, there is no actually no signal here. And even uh, if you see uh, on the chart here, uh, I was asked lots of, I got lots of uh, questions around 2.30 or so uh, live. Uh, I, I did not see any signal. I mean, I wouldn't have shorted over here definitely because there is no unwinding scene at all. No, no significant unwinding scene. This was around uh, what? Um, 340 or so, 340 or so, and uh, after 340 over here. See, this was there on both sides. I mean, we, we saw unwinding on both sides. Call unwinding also was there and put unwinding. Put unwinding was there, but call was there. And this was not significant, basically. I would like to see 1%. Because then there is a chance that it would go on. You see, I mean, it did not. It just uh, reversed. Because this, this was... Even though this was a minus 1%, uh, it was not a strong signal because the buildup on call side was missing. I would like to see that. Uh, so we'll take other days and see where we see significant buildup and then we can identify the weakening of the trend or strengthening of the trend more easily. So here at 340, just looking at it here, it also directly, there was there was nothing much. You could do, I mean, the whole day from here, there was other thing that you can look at is the futures uh, uh, price change and OI change also. Uh, you can do that, a little bit of analysis on that. But it was all over the place. I mean, there was some, once future settled down below VWAP, this was definitely tilting towards uh, bearish side. But uh, the, it did not significantly go down and it did not continue further. That, that was the main point. And this will clearly tell you that with futures, there's going to be a little bit, there's going to be a little bit more tricky. There's one thing that you can more clearly look at is the futures intraday Y breakup. That if you see on 15 minutes, even this will tell you, tell you that. This Y change column will tell you that. So this, with respect to volume, this has to be significant. Even this, if you see, there was nothing. We are looking at 15 minutes and there was uh, nothing significant uh, happening here. The, in this case, probably I would like to see more than, uh, this Y change to be more than 10% of the slot wise volume. So this volume is for this particular time slot, 15 minute volume. So this is 15 minute volume, 15 minute Y change. It has to be significant. The first slot, 15 minute slot, you can leave. But after that, it has to be significant. And then you, you could you could uh, take that as some kind of signal. But uh, you see, I mean, it was going below VWAP here, above VWAP, below VWAP for a while. Then again, above VWAP, below VWAP. This was indication of a sideways. And with data, it's not not that much clear. But this was this was pretty much very clear that it was not going anyways. So unwinding until 10.30, there was almost no unwinding anywhere, just 0 0.04 here unwinding. So this was sideways significantly until probably over here, first time we saw 0.5% uh, change, but this is unwinding, but this is not significant. So look for at least minus 1%. Let us, let us uh, take another day. We'll just take the expiry day. Yeah. Srikant, can we check uh, last Thursday? It was a VSEP recovery. That was interesting. Please. Yeah, expiry day. Right? That is what I'm looking at. Okay, thank you. We are going, yeah. Yeah, here. So here again, uh, uh, we'll take this day. Again, there was a gap up here. 
and as i said here you immediately look at this and assume that it's going to go on this side and then and now if you see here uh, the pcr oi change is 1.25 directly so from here it has to go up uh, if uh, the uptrend has to continue that is one thing you can look at this also is significant this also is strong so significantly above one so it is bullish it's it's so this and this have to be in tandem should not be opposite so that is important that also you need to look at but here all these three are lining up uh, very well and uh, this is positive, strongly positive so it is uh, uptrend to begin with so being expiry day you see again a lot of build up here initially so just ignore that watch for uh, as i said here i had pointed out by this time you should start seeing the unwinding so we saw we are seeing unwinding here let me zoom it to the morning area this is the one 1027 and this is what i was saying uh, call unwinding and then the opposite side put build up is there so that is good because then it indicates that put writing also is there call writing unwinding is there so it is bullish put writing along with call unwinding and call unwinding is significant that is the most important so here by 1027 this particular scenario is getting confirmed over here at 1027 so you you can't wait for this signal and say you will only buy here you you can take your positions here it's about 921 you will get this signal you can go on the bullish side with of course you know with stop proper stop and all that but you can you can start building your you can start tilting your positions if you are a non directional trader you can tilt your positions to the bullish side So you can probably have more premium on the put side, or you, if you are using delta, you can have more positive delta in your overall position. Uh, so whatever you need to tilt your positions to the bullish side here, as soon as you look at this. Now from here, once you are tilted on the bullish side, watch for uh, put side unwinding or call side unwinding to confirm your bullish stance. and of course you should keep a close eye on what is happening on the put side so if you see heavy put side unwinding then before you get any kind of signal then you, you should start if you are in significant profits uh, start uh, taking your profits or uh, you close uh, get your stop stop loss closer or whatever but here you are only since you are bullish and you are seeing put side unwinding as so a call side unwinding so this is fine this is what we want to see we want to see continued uh, build up on the put side so which is what is happening so it just confirms our bullish stance so so we can go on now here here this is the first time we are seeing uh put side unwinding 0.6% so now this is this is what i am saying and here if you see from being above vwap it has gone just below vwap uh, put side unwinding starting this is not a indication to go short it's just an indication that you need to get your stops closer or you need to start taking pro partial uh, profits and that kind of thing this also if you see oi change direction steady negative build up is there on this side so this just indicates that now here again we we'll keep a watch on the pcr oi change also this was steadily increasing and here it has gone turn negative here a green over here a green says that uh, your put oi change has increased which is again supports the bullish stance a red indicates that it has gone down this is just a little bit which is fine you shouldn't see something steady red like this is a indication again all these are just uh, color coding and all that is to give you a quick idea of what is happening so this uh, going pcr of oi change going down is again just indicating that the unwinding on put side is happening and of course there is build up on call side also so slightly slightly bearish here so let us see what this was around 11:15 11:20 this was just around over here over here so again as i said this is not a signal it's just indicating that there is a weakening slight weakening that is okay. but as we as i said there is no 1% change is not there here. Here again, if once you get a one percent change here, it just means that 
and the price keeps going up after that that also is important once you get uh, 1% unwinding you need to confirm that price is going to go on that side otherwise then it may not be confirming anything i mean here actually the price in 795 it has again gone down actually here so this unwinding has taken place but uh, price has not moved up but at least this confirms you, you can keep the stands you can keep bullish. That is what this confirms over here, which was this was around twelve o'clock. This was around twelve o'clock. Twelve o'clock. It just confirmed that this original bullish stance is again. It stays uh, that way, and that this uh, no significant unwinding has taken place here because we did not see any greater than one percent unwinding here. So let us move further here. Only nothing nothing here so we keep the same stance because if you if we see i mean this is still the same so we keep the same stance big big unwinding here big unwinding here. you'll see this on expiry days more often because expiry days all these people who have probably shorted here they would have seen that okay it reversed from here so i'm just going to short maybe 34 9 or 35000 or whatever so so all these call sh shorts suddenly they will unload, they will unwind. Over here, if you see significant unwinding after one o'clock was seen. So over here, this is obviously because whoever has shorted over here, thinking that we might reverse. So all these strikes, they'll probably just uh, close their positions over here. So you will see unwinding here. A lot of unwinding is expected. This happens more on uh, expiry days. And this being expiry days, we are seeing this. On other days, you will just see, you will still see unwinding. You will see my like one percent and maybe one slightly more than one percent. You will see on other days, but here this just indicates that uh, the up move might accelerate now. And this is what we are seeing here, big, big along with this unwinding. Uh, even though this just indicates that unwinding has taken place, build up on the put side has not happened along with this unwinding. So this. You just need to be cautious at this point because unwinding has taken place and build up equivalent build up has not happened. So if if the price has to really shoot up from here, we should have seen a huge comparatively, if not five percent, four percent, we should have seen at least one percent, two percent build up here. That is not seen. So that is a big uh, warning kind of thing. I mean it's. You should not be loading up uh, your positions, bullish positions here. By this time, you should already be in significant profits. And then if you want, you can take a little bit of profits here because there is no confirming bullish signal here. This is one more thing. You, you need to keep, as I said, keep checking both sides. If you see big unwinding on one side, then a little bit of significant buildup has to be there on the other side. Otherwise, then it may not be that significant. It could be a reversal here. I mean, of course, I see, frankly speaking, I did not uh, anticipate something like this. I, but I, I, was, I, was, I was looking at this and I was thinking that uh, buildup was not there. That is that much I had seen. So now here, the, it, this. Uh, 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 yeah. Shrikant, hello? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, is there any uh, po possible way in which we can uh, like uh, automate this and see whether this unwinding and uh, build up is taking place using Python? Like whatever whatever you are uh, telling us, is there any way that we can uh, program it up in Python and see that uh, whether the uh, unwinding at a particular strike is happening or not, and same build up is there in no is there matlab, the build up is happening or not? Yeah, see you you can see that uh, it's almost the same thing, right? I mean you you can you can keep checking uh, which side unwinding is happening, which side build up. You you can I mean anything can be done programmatically, but uh, the the whole thing is how would you decide whether to go long or short? Finally, that is the only thing that is important, right? So. You would have to figure that out. I mean, here what I'm telling you is a method of thinking. Now, how how to finally apply and generate signals uh, is what uh, you will have to think about. One thing that I do uh, that whenever I see a significant uh, unwinding, uh, and then for that particular bar, I mean, for me, say over here, say uh, 
Now here at 13.9, at the close of 13.9, three minute bar, there's huge, huge unwind. 13.9 bar here, 13.9 bar is 13.6 here. This bar gets closed at 13.9. So at 13.9 bar from here, next bar onwards, I want to see a strong up move because unwinding has happened on the call side. So for me, this high becomes important or maybe some near term high, one or two buys bars near to that if there is a high. If something like that, like this happens and we see and some kind of call unwinding here, then I want this high to be taken out strongly. So now you, you would have to like come up with some kind of a signal and then use that. Uh, you can uh, use whatever programs that you want. Uh, you can write and keep analyzing unwinding on both sides. And then uh, whenever uh, you get a strong move in the direction that you're looking at, that, that can be your signal. This can be a small scalping signal, basically. So that you can do, but I, I, I mean, what else? I don't know. You basically, it's all about this, analyzing these two. Analyzing these two, that's it. It's all about that. And then uh, coordinating with uh, the price, uh, which way the price is going, and based on that, uh, some signal you can generate. You can experiment. I mean, this I'm giving you the idea. After that, you can experiment and see. Now here uh, again, this yeah, this is what uh, had confused me that uh, that day because the first uh, big uh, unwinding on the put side was at 1351 bar close. 1351 bar close was this. This, but the thing is, this unwinding was there on both sides. Of course, by, based on price, this was already bearish. So you could have you could have taken this, and because this were many indications were there here that this was not a trend uptrend that could continue. Because uh, uh, if you see 13, 13, 24 bar was this here. This is this was where uh, we got a huge unwinding here. After that, price did not move up. Even though unwinding continued, 1327, 1330. 1327 was this, and 1330 was this. Ending, ending times. This. So these two bars. From here, there was no, no strong up move at all. So this, this even though this 1% uh, or and more unwinding was there, up, there was no move after this. And this actually, this kind of big... Uh, short build actually build up on the call side so this this was definitely not a positive thing over here but then this again over here when the first uh, significant put unwinding happened call unwinding also happened so that was the thing of course this could have been people taking profits because they had uh, if whoever had shorted here they were, they were in decent profits over here so they could be taking profits then there was more uh, uh, build up over here but this this was a little bit confusing that was there but if you would have taken this into consideration then yes then kind of short signal was there in this area but probably lifetime you would be you would have to practice this a little bit more even even for me i i did not i did not take this down move at all i did not consider this i was almost i mean Expecting it to go to VWAP, but uh, over here, uh, this both side unwinding was confusing. But should I have analyzed this better is what I thought at that point. Because this was, it was clear that this, from here, it was not clear that the uptrend was in uh, the, in good health. The uptrend was not strong, basically, over here. Because put side, nothing, there was no indication at all. But there was no buildup. So whatever you were seeing here, why change trend? It was only due to this unwinding. So that was about this. Again, uh, uh, the V move over here. Let us see. Here, there was no significant buildup. Unwinding was there. So based on unwinding, you, you could have taken. Uh, there was no buildup here. So again, uh, this, this confusion was there over here. Uh, there was a significant unwinding on the call side. Put side, uh, one person, more than one person unwinding was also there. Again, another indication here, positive indication that was there uh, at the bottom was that this 
was indicating that overall this was positive so more more unwinding was happening on the call side put side build up was missing but same this was exactly opposite opposite had happened here so this was only due to unwinding here exactly this way here this was due to unwinding here so similar similar thing but the what had happened was totally opposite here this this was again similarly confusing on expiry day this would would be there because the whole analysis is going to be very different on expiry day one day the analysis is going to be slightly different so this again there was as a no indication i was not in this trade at all because over i think over, here i had got a signal in nifty not in bank nifty but nifty i had got a signal you can check that uh, over here if you see there was there was absolutely no signal over here even at uh, 230 and after that also nothing so here at least based on this based on unwinding there was absolutely no signal it was absolutely so let me zoom it out there was only actually bearish signals here so this is 1436 both side this was both side so this was confusing but this was more on the call side so some kind of signal was there 1436 but not something that uh, i don't i wouldn't have uh, Uh, gone bullish over here too strongly because one being expiry day anything can happen and that then clarity was not there after this after three o'clock of course there's nothing nothing to do because this would just be unwinding of intraday positions wouldn't even look at it so yeah expiry day was definitely confusing this whole this whole move was confusing. some clarity was there here and this is the only clarity that you will be able to get at least basing using using this based on this on other days it would definitely be lot more easy nifty let me just go there once this was seven touch Nifty seventh July expiry date. The rest of the day was mostly similar. Okay, but here, yeah, this is for Nifty. I had got, as I said, I had got the signal. Small build up uh, was there on the put side. May more than that, it was not negative. That was the important thing here. And uh, call side, the significant unwinding is there. additionally before this also this was uh, even though put side build up was not there for me all these three bars here were significantly more unwinding was there on the call side but this the ones this was there and though this was uh, not more this combined with this gave me kind of a signal here so for nifty it was there for uh, bank nifty it was not there the signal was not there that was over here for nifty in nifty's case let me change this nifty 7th the signal was there for on this 36 bar so probably about this would be so this small trade was there it was clear cut in nifty but in bank nifty it was not there definitely okay any doubt about this or any other day that you want me to you want me to cover any any questions about this tool one other thing that uh, can be checked here is we have uh, we have these markers uh, for total ceo i change total peo i change Uh, you can take a look at these uh, during the day and see which side is getting built up more once this this will go uh, at the same levels and once uh, the build up starts another way to look at build up which side uh, more build up is happening so this 
this will start uh, marker will start going higher than the put marker over here, which just means that the buildup on this side is increasing. So the start Mr. of the day. Is, yeah. Good morning. Actually, how to enable that marker? Please show. No, this this will be there by default. You just need to make sure these columns are enabled over here by going here. Total PUI change, total CEOI change. Just enable those. Okay. So this will automatically. No, no. Now you are showing now the marker going up and down. How to do it? No, going up and down. I'm I'm just saying that during the day you will see. Ah, how to see it? They will they will start at the same levels more or less. Uh, they'll be at similar levels. So it just means that the call side buildup also is happening, put side also is happening. Okay. Then later, what will happen is when significant trend is uh, catching on, then uh, actually, one uh, side buildup uh, will go up. How that green got highlighted? Four la four crore seventeen lakhs like that. Are here four uh, that four sixty nine. Uh, this green green just indicates that uh, the for the day this is the highest uh, Y change. It comes and by this, default in the this one, huh? Yeah, this is this will be default. Yes. Okay. Nestle, so I am not able to see the trading view charts. Any thing should I enable? Because uh, after May twenty seventh, I am going well, to beta. I am going to beta only. Change change the symbols because this is now we don't have continuous charts. I think you are looking at uh, May expiry. May expiry. Just a minute. Okay. Yeah, just just uh, type Nifty here. You will get the current expiries if futures latest is selected. So just okay. uh, make sure you have selected July expiry. So now all the features are enabled in right? this one. What should I say? More or less, yeah. Watch list also is enabled now. So this is more more or less done. Few things. Uh, what else is remaining in this? Yeah, this is I think mostly done now. Uh, the team is working on. Uh, Option strategy charts right now. They'll be starting work on it, not yet started. I, I'm I clicked on that bank NFT. It is showing 22nd May. How to change that one? Click on here, and once you get this window, just type bank NFT here. Make sure this is highlighted. Futures latest is highlighted. Okay, bank NFT. Okay, just a second. I'm trying. Uh, you can you can try and we'll discuss later because I need to go ahead. Okay. Yeah. So here, uh, any any doubts about this tool? Uh, the explanation may have been a little bit complicated, but uh, well, the idea is simple. It is it is to identify. You can let me go to higher time. Yes, you can. Yeah. Hi. Well, Actually, how you are getting to know that uh, this is a sideways market, a trending market? Uh, I have one doubt on that one. Yeah, as I as I said, uh, for sideways market, uh, you you will not see uh, significant unwinding on uh, either side. So, for example, let me let me take this. So from PCR, we can get that one also. PCR one, it will be close to one. Uh, PCR and PCR Y change, more like PCR Y change will probably tell you. Because PCR of Y change is based on intraday Ys, intraday Y change. So Sometimes this is probably I am getting that PCR Y change uh, more than uh, five. You may have, you may not be looking at all strikes. Or what day is it? what day is this? Seventh. Seventh only and seventh expiry. Yeah. Then have you selected all strikes here? No, actually, I am selecting that near ATM strike. Yeah, near ATM is going to be totally different analysis because this uh, then that will be very different. We are talking only about all strikes because then you can analyze the overall market okay. based on near strike. Near yeah, near ATM is that uh, how we are getting to know that this is a sideways market. Yeah, yeah. So go to all strikes, mm -hmm. and then uh, one thing is. Uh, this PCR of Y change, it will be close to one. It won't uh, change significantly. Okay. So this this will be the main thing. But this was just because uh, on the expiry day also, this initial the whole thing was uh, sideways only. So, so you will see, according you will to see you that can get from the view up also. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, visually, if it is going up and down, 
yeah it will it yeah and even on even on this day that is definitely but from data also if you want to confirm you you will not see uh, unwinding significant unwinding on any side till 10 10 30 11 11 30 also if you see significant unwinding came only later in the afternoon once this this kind of this this move started and then this and this so until here probably 1 o'clock until 1 o'clock there is absolutely nothing mostly from pcr and vf we will get to know that this is a trending sideways market or trending market pcr of oi chain yes yeah not with pcr okay pcr of because pcr this will be for the more relevant for the positionally positionally this is probably relevant pcr oi change figures are oi change uh, pcr of oi change is based on intraday oi change so this will be more closer to what uh, it will indicate so if it if it indicates uh, if it stays uh, around 1 1.1 then this is probably going to be sideways it will deviate a little bit more later and it will give you some idea that it is going to move because it just went a little bit up to 1.3 and all that then again it came down but then it will start to move uh, even then it was not actually on expiry day even even this was still indicating it is going to be sideways so, so even uh, though pcr oi change will be more after some time if uh, pcr oi change will be increase so we will get to know that this is a trend in market no there is uh, it may not because what will happen is if if it shoots up above 1.52 and all that starts hitting 2 maybe 1.5 1.6 then it will be see even for 1.3 1045 this was at 1045 over here it is it is still not it is still sideways probably after this maybe it could have shot up from here then maybe 1.4 1.5 you would have known okay even here if you see once price actually broke out above this over here at yeah. 130 it was actually neutral even at 130 even at 130 here this was perfectly neutral actually yeah it was balanced on both sides now one reason of course can be that people are very good say unwinding is going on yeah unwinding no here overall oi change is same because this is expiry and people will be looking at the sideways trend in the morning they will be shorting both sides yeah so that could be the reason why this is this has turned more neutral over here and they are almost sure that the whole day is going to be neutral or sideways so they are they have balanced the whole thing so even though this tried to shoot up from here it did not you tried to break this also it did not so yeah. then this particular uh, uh neutral pcr of oi change was conveying the same thing when he even here see 230 over here also this was basically it was gone slightly bearish but it did not did not follow through that's the thing yeah, yeah. You know, more or less neutral maybe point below 0.7 or so could have indicated something okay any any other questions on this tool thank you thank you okay can, can you please say how to use that iv to buy a call or a put okay we'll we'll go to that uh, next how would you but basically just plain iv how would you use it the iv is just going to tell you uh by that, by seeing uh, option chain can hmm. identify which calls are going to uh, go ahead or uh, go up or put to go up like that not be, not based chain. not based on iv basically you, it's not possible i mean skew is there so you can look at skew but it, it will just tell you the uh, mispriced options about about mispriced options but not more uh, anything so, about actual which options to buy or which options to sell so in, in this chart we can see iv and put side is higher than iv and call side that means uh, puts are costlier that does it, does it mean puts are costlier so demand is more definitely yeah it just says that but you see what uh, more more than the difference between ivs of uh, put and call uh, you need to see check out of the money uh, here put side uh, the difference between this and this percentage difference between at the money and out of the money 
So you have to fix that, say maybe 200 points or 300 points or 20 delta or so, 20, 25 delta, whatever. And do the same uh, exercise for this. What same distance. Say, distance. say same now, distance. It is, now it is midpoint 16 on 250. At 16,000, the IV is 17.26 on the put side. Yeah. So and check the change the... is minus 0 0.84. So IV started falling, right? No, no, no. I'm not talking about fall. Yeah, see, the percentage difference between this and this would be one minute. Let me compute. 16.4317. Say I'll take 200, uh, how many, 200 points. Yeah. I'll take this 17.18. 17.18 divided by 16.43. Let me check. So this is a 4.5% difference. Now on call side, let me check. Call side, uh, again, 200 points difference will be 450, 13 points, 14.46 divided by 13 point, uh, what's that? 250, 200 points, 13.73. It is 5.0. Actually, the difference is more on the call side, actually. The percentage, the skew is, it's more on the call side. Means what is the meaning of it? Then put side. It just it it what it it uh, what you need to do. We, as I said when I was explaining vol volatility skew, uh, that is only half part of the tool actually. Volatility skew. I need to we need to give you. Uh, this is only half part of it. It just shows you what the skew is uh, of options. But here, what you need to do is. This exercise that we just did, checking the percentage uh, uh, difference of volatilities on both sides, call and put side. So this, we need to give you statistics of that. Then you will know uh, if whether the current skew, that currently what it is showing, uh, whether it is significant or not. If it is significant, you, you can actually, one thing, it can tell you the direction. The other thing, it can tell you, the skew itself can tell you that uh, which options to sell. You can probably, if the skew on the call side is more, then you can probably sell because then this will mean that the call uh, out of uh, this actually, out of the money call options are uh, mispriced. So they are more expensive. It will tell you that. So only, only just the numbers uh, may not give you the real picture actually. Of course, the uh, when there is an event, earnings event is there, the uh, the IVs between one month, one expiry and the next expiry, that difference will increase. For say for stocks, uh, the uh, difference or on a budget day, even for Nifty or Bank Nifty, the near term IVs will shoot up like anything and the next month or the next week IVs will be very low. At that point, you can, you can sell near week and uh, buy the next week. So that to capture the volatility crash. So that you can do between two expiries, but here it gets more tricky. So for here, you need to see average SKUs, what they are. So that we have not yet provided. We need to scan all recent uh, SKUs and then we have to tell you how, what the current SKU is with respect to historical SKU. Then it will start to get more meaningful. So difficult to explain to you right now, whether just looking at these numbers uh, of IVs whether you can buy a calls or, or sell, that it is going to be very difficult. So, can, can you please once again repeat that 13.82 uh, on the uh, your show now that uh, yeah uh, what yeah what you can do is add the money whatever is there uh, on the put side what you do is add the money uh, IV is 16.43 ah right right here and uh, go 200 points it, you have to keep this consistent. So okay. people, sometimes they take it 25, closest to 25 de delta. But uh, what you can do is for simplicity, just take 200 points. Out. Okay. So because the distance has to be same on both sides. Okay. So 200 points is 16050. Okay. Take this 17.18. So this, this divided by this. Oh. So do that minus one, you will get percentage. 4.5% you will get. 4.5%, huh? Yeah. In 17, 26 divided by 16.43. Yeah? Okay, let me one minute. Huh? Let me 
let me uh, switch to a uh, one minute, just a minute. Let me share if I can share a spreadsheet also that will be better. Is this your spreadsheet visible? Hello. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Yes. So that was seventeen point one eight. Seventeen point one eight, and what was that, sir? Just fourteen. Can you give me sixteen point four three? Right, sixteen point four. So let me do this. Seventeen point one eight divided by sixteen point four three. So this actually minus one. So this is four point five percent. This is four point five six percent. So this was on the put side. Now we go to call side. Call side over here is. Uh, Add the money is fourteen point four six, and uh, two hundred points. Uh, kindly mute, please. Two hundred points out is thirteen point seven three. Please mute. Please mute. Can somebody tell me that fourteen fourteen point four six divided by thirteen point seven three? This minus one clear. Most of the time, most of the time, I mean, this is not going to be too far. I mean, this is going to be very close. So this then this will tell you that there is no big advantage. So what you will see even during intraday, many times this will change like anything. Many times. Whenever sudden some some sudden news is there or something like that, during events and all that, you will see this very. It's very common. This analyzing this skew is the most important. What is the difference? I and mean, this is called put side skew. This is call side skew. Now this what we need to do do is this we need to capture minute by minute for every day. We have the data. We need to uh, write programs, do the data crunching, and put it in the database, and then give you. All the details. We'll be doing that. The plan is there. So once once we do this, then we'll be able to give you a lot more intelligent information. We can tell you, like where the even during the day, we can tell you which options are mispriced and all that, and and the skew is tilting to which side. The skew tilting to one side also will give you some indication. So what will happen is compared to call side, put side will just shoot up like anything. It will go significantly higher. So then, that will give you some indication. So that we can do all that once we have data in place. So we'll try and do that. We'll try and do that. We just need to do that. Now so here we are saying five point three two percent. Yeah. Is higher than put side. Does it mean call side tilting is there, or the market and call is likely to go up? It just means that the out of the money calls are being sold like anything. So uh, more, uh, not anything. I mean, it's not too crazy. It just means that there are more, uh, more uh, out of the money calls are being sold when compared to puts. More uh, expensive, huh? Yeah, slightly more. Ex yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. The the thing is, I cannot be cannot confidently tell you that because the the difference is skews is not that much. Once oh, okay. if it is but significantly no, no, larger, they, then theoretically, is, theoretically, I'm asking you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If if this, yeah. If, this difference increases a lot more than that is what indicates and it indicates that for some reason calls are being priced more calls are priced and market. calls are sold right yeah sold exactly yeah not exactly. Uh, not buying not buying because mostly out of the money whatever why is there that like uh, the say they are with the they are trying to sell basically their point of view is that that they want to sell calls that is the point of view so that is how we will have to analyze it because okay. once a position is created both buy and sell is there anyway so we can't just say that it's being sold but uh, we can say that there, there are a lot writers are writing out of the money calls uh, due to some reason that is what we can say if this gets more significant 
So how to identify which coal uh, we should buy cheaper by the help of this IV or uh, IVP, IVR ranking, can we do it? Yeah, you can uh, see, uh, see which to buy is you can, you can look at this, uh, take from add the money. So this add the money is going to be the cheapest here. Of course, actually this one is actually in the money is a lot more cheaper. In the money is calls. If you are going on the call side, call side, this is going to, this is cheaper and this is more expensive. So basically out of the money you have to short and in the money you have to buy. This is what this is indicating. But of course, this put side is a lot more steeper. So this is put side, the skew so the, seems to so be seeing the Excel. Sorry, in the money. Sorry. So, so the skew for out of the money will be same for in the money also? Uh, need not be, but out of the money, analyzing out of the money is a lot more uh, better. So the similar, same measure can be applied for uh, ITM. You, you can, yeah, you can check. You can check. Then we need to check. Okay. okay. Yeah. But generally, so volatility skew is analyzed on the uh, out of the money only. It at the money versus out the out of the money, but you can you can analyze if you want. I mean, nothing stopping you definitely. You can analyze. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. The out of the money. So one one more thought actually. Out of the money is actually having only time value. Yeah. So how how it will help me? How how, how the skew will help? For sh shorting it, because see uh, IV the. IV is mainly based on out of the money options because they, it, it because that is only time value, so that is going to be most sensitive to, to volatility because it's only purely time value. Okay. So you would analyze out of the money basically for uh, shorting, uh, shorting the options. Basically. Okay, okay. That so, is where so, it is useful. so in the money may not help actually it for selling. In the many options with respect to skew of the whole thing. It, it is risky. So, I mean, definitely risky, right? So, most you would not be looking to short in the money anyway. So, okay. because you're when if the price moves against you, then the loss uh, will increase faster when you are in the money, shorted in the money. It is best to avoid. Of course, okay. there are people who do that, but still. Yeah. Yeah, the BJ does that actually. The ITM. Yeah, there are, there are few few experiences required. I mean, once you're you know your direction well, or you know you have, you have analyzed your skews well and your open interest well, then I think yeah, BJ sir does that uh, analyzes open interest very well. So he could he could he can do that. Yeah, that is one more thing that I wanted to when you are analyzing, let us go to options why break up also. Yeah, please, sir. Please. Okay. Yeah. See, the, we were doing this. Uh, let us take this. Uh, uh, which one? Yeah, recent example also. You can also use, say, check first for whatever five minutes or so. Five, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Sir, whatever. the spreadsheet is visible still. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, how do I stop the spreadsheet? Okay, now visible? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, here uh, once, let me take, okay, let us take Nifty also. Uh, at 9.20, uh, market has closed, the Nifty has closed around 16, it is at 16.204. So let us take Nifty, this is the reason. Uh, go in the money on both sides. So it was it has 16, uh, Nifty is at 16 to uh, five minutes after market open. Go inside. And this also go in the money. So now both are in the money. You can even go deeper. It depends. It, it is fine. So what this does is from here, look at, keep monitoring OI change. Keep monitoring OI change. What happens is, this sometimes gives uh, very clear cut indications. It, uh, of course, it is very sensitive to how deep you have gone. You can do this also, but if you go too deep in the money, sometimes uh, the uh, 
they may be uh, blank why change if you go too deep in the money because the liquidity may not be more in those options so as long as these are liquid you can you can monitor you can even check uh, three minute level it depends on how you want to how deeper analysis you want to now here focus on why changes focus on why change sorry sir so, uh, which which spot candle did you look at the first one first five minute is it yeah spot or futures whatever okay. you just want to know approximately where the uh, index is right. from there just go deep in the money deep in the money on both call and put side so right. select in the money strikes and then focus on why changes focus on why changes and pcr of course but once you are in the money pcr will not matter that much because it will be very low so why change is what i focus on here and here whichever side build up is whichever un unwinding is the analysis is same what we did here so look for significant uh, uh, build up and significant unwinding significant when i say look for at least uh, say 10% of this combined oi 10% of combined oi on both sides so because here you can't say 1% so i mean this uh, i have not I, i cannot give you a fixed number like say 10% or i'm just saying you need to monitor this for a while and then decide but i think 10% is a good start if this is 10% then significant build up is there so now here if you see straight away here also it is indicating that the first slot itself is indicating that there is build up on this side unwinding on this side so here it is bullish so so this was for initial so it's it just gives you initially that it says that it is bullish now whether this goes sideways or not we will we'll see but it has continued it has continued to tell you that there is unwinding happening on uh, the call side and there is build up happening on the put side this just tells you that overall overall scenario overall scenario is bullish so this will this will just tell you that over here now at this point it has started a big build up has come so now over i think over here this was also significant no this was still less than 10% but here this is definitely more than 10% so here is now this will be significant over here so i would i would suggest still suggest to get a go to higher time frame because i am not too comfortable analyzing uh, shorter time frames over here so here it's up at 10 o'clock uh, this has uh, build up on this side but again it would not be significant because this all side also build up is there so this build up has continued uh, continuously so this is not this particular short build up is not that significant so again here it continues so 10 10 15 let us see it was just indicating this 10 9 10 15 it is over here over here it is still indicating it tried to indicate the give a bearish signal but it did not basically even though this it broke the lows for the day it the build up here indicates that it is not at that bearish here 10 15 excuse me 10 15 there was very significant build up and there was some unwinding here this unwinding was not that significant let me let me quickly check what is the percentage that's the issue i think we'll have to add percentage here because doing it manually will be time consuming okay this is about 8% here we are obviously 15 lakhs 15000 will be 10% so this is still not significant so this was at 1015 actually 1015 over here so in any case even if you take that as a signal you need a break of break below this that is what you would look at so even if this you think that this is significant because there is huge huge uh, uh, build up on the call side and unwinding slight unwinding to the put side if you take this as a signal you would not short straight away because uh, this bar actually is the closes at 
So you you are over here at 10:50. Then at least you would wait for a break below this bar, so which did not happen at this point. It happened later. So we'll see that. So this is what uh, this is how you would go about analyzing this. Again, after this, you see you have seen the unwinding over here. So back to bullish uh, position over here. This goes on here. This is now. Okay, this is long buildup. Anyway, this is build up, so it is significant, but again, no unwinding here. Unwinding here, but again, unwinding here. So same, your initial analysis continues. So we are still bullish here. Here, both sides build up is there. So no analysis here. Here, unwinding is there. So we remain bullish. Unwinding on this side, build up on this side. We remain bullish. Unwinding here, but it is not significant. It's a little less than 10%, uh, 8%, 7% or so. So not significant. So I hope you got the, got the idea here. Now this, this is significant. This 1345, this is a signal here. Significant unwinding, significant build up here. So let's see 1345 close. 1345 close. Wow. 1945. Surprisingly, this, this has given a signal here actually. Surprising. At 1345, this is 1345 close. This, this bar gets closed at 1345. At here, at here, uh, this buildup is there on the call side. Unwinding there is there on the call side. This is actually a signal, short signal. I'm, Surprise, I did not, I missed this on that day. I was, I had this page open, but I did not see this. Anyway, to have, but Sir, again, can you take the data for the, uh, this thing, uh, 100 uh, strike up and down? Okay, just one more thing I want to say, and then we'll do that. But immediately next bar, you got a bullish. Again, I think that confusion was there anyway. Anyway, we'll check that also. But this is 15, 15 minute interval you are seeing and chart is in five minutes now. That is that is fine. I want to know the time. See, this bar, this gets over at, uh, this gets over at two o'clock. And this gets over at 2.15. Okay, this gets over at two o'clock. One minute. Huh? One minute. I was I'm looking at 13.45. See, what I was saying, this gets over at uh, 1.45. Right, this slot. So this analysis is ready at one forty-five, and this bar also. The time is same. Even though I'm even if I look at fifteen minutes, even if I look at fifteen minutes, this bar has gotten over at three forty-five. So I am still here. And what I was saying is here. This bar. This is thirteen forty bar, and when it gets closed over here, time is thirteen forty-five. So we are here right now at 13.45 where we where this got closed. Even though the time frames are different, I'm looking at the same time. Got it, right? So what is the, how, to, how to analyze this one? Now what I'm saying is this is a short signal actually over here. Short signal on the break of this bar. On the break of this bar, this short signal was there, but I missed it. But in September, you're showing a long belt up in the chart, huh? No, no. Uh, I am I am not analyzing this this build up. So I am analyzing where I am saying I am I am doing this kind of analysis. What I what I am looking at over here is that call side build up has happened. Positions have got added on call side, and positions have got unwind unwinding has happened on put side. You got it. If you if you if you look at a long build up, long unwinding, then this is actually bullish. Ah, yes. I, no, that's I, what I am getting confused. Yeah, I, I am I am doing analysis from build up and unwinding point of view only. So now, how, how to correlate these things uh, to take a decision? Uh, this is I don't want to confuse you because I, I see this is definitely uh, the the thing is bearish side, no bullish side. No, no, this is bearish according to this analysis, unwinding buildup analysis. If you look at, if you look at purely from, 
OI build up kind of thing, then this is of course bullish. And this, okay. yeah. But then immediately this will be bearish. Why? What I want to say is this is bullish. And even in this case, actually, just a minute. make it clear actually what had happened is it gave a bearish signal here and it gave a bullish signal here so and this got broken here so this got triggered signal got triggered but this bullish signal has not got triggered over here 1345 this is a according to i see if you if don't look at these look at the build up i am saying i am saying call side build up is shorting. I'm saying call side buildup is shorting and unwinding on the put side is people panicking on the put side and unwinding their positions. So it means it's but, a bearish sign. Sorry? So it sorry. means it's a bearish sign, not bullish sign. Yeah, this is a bearish sign, but uh, but the analysis based on this, so all the analysis that we are doing here, what are we saying here? We are saying here when the unwinding happens on the put side, it is bearish. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And when the buildup happens on the uh, call side, it is, it is actually bearish. Right. Yeah. And when unwinding happens on the call side, it is bullish. So this analysis carried here, this will be bearish because yes, there is yeah. buildup here. And, because uh, big player are added their position in call side. It means they are selling that. Uh, exactly. we, are, we are saying that we are saying these are all we are analyzing this from the point of view of uh, writers only. So that's yeah, the yeah, reason why yeah. this is very... So, so yeah. that long buildup in the buildup column is coming only because the price has gone up and the OI is in. Yeah, that's it. That's right. it. Because they may, they may actually be people shorting here, calls, shorting calls here. And this could be, I mean, very good to actually when price has gone up, shorting here is probably the best if you are, if you know that the price is going to go down, right? So even though it may show it may show long buildup on call side here, just so it may actually be people shorting. That's the reason why we are we are we are analyzing from the writer's point of view only. And even over here, we are saying all this is analyzing from writer's point of view. And same analysis carried over here. This is bearish, whereas this is bullish. But then you have to confirm with price. That is why I'm saying even though this bar is being indicated uh, bearish. You have to take decision once price closes below this or closes uh, crosses this. It breaks down from here. Because what can happen is that analysis can go wrong. And from so after this bar, sorry. So that uh, in the OI breakup that is fifteen minutes, no sir. But you are taking the next bar exact that is five minute interval. This is like oh, sorry. two o'clock. In this case, this is not right. Yeah, in this case, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. So one minute, huh? one minute. No, in this case, it is correct. This case it is correct. This First one is was, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. one minute. Two o'clock would be this. Yeah, two o'clock would be this. So you have taken this signal. After that, this here you got a bear, uh, bullish signal, but of course you did not get it. So it price continued down. Yeah, yeah. You are right. This this bar was not here. It is actually here because thirteen fifty five. This bar closes at two o'clock. So you are here at two o'clock, and a buy above this is bullish. That is what this indicates. This indicates a buy. So the uh, idea. I have one doubt. Uh, sir, yeah. you selected sixteen thousand call and call side and sixteen thousand four hundred put and put side. Why are you selecting that? You I'm just. I'm argument. just going. I have gone deep into the money. Okay. See here. Here, morning. What is the price here? Where where it closed? Sixteen thousand two zero four. Okay. So sixteen thousand two hundred is uh, at the money. So 200 points below that, 200 points above that. So okay. one person wanted to, next we'll look at 100, 100 also. Okay. So one person had requested. So we that. can analyze according to add the money also. See, uh, the signals will be totally different. We'll do that also. Till first, let us go only one, one strike. Uh -huh. One, one strike also. So let us go here one minute. So I want to now, we'll have to do it from the beginning then. Let's see here, it's all built up. Your unwinding is there, so it's all. This is bullish. Here, yeah. this is dominating, so this is bullish. Yeah. Here, uh, the 
here this side bearish signal is there but it both sides are not confirmed here uh, it is not uh, significant i need to see at least 10% here 10%. 10%. so this also is not 10% right oh okay this is 10% so this continues this is all bullish here so i'm only going to look at where it is 10% significance is there so it has to be like above 28000 right? so all this is significant here significant here this nothing here okay here now bearish signal over here 1215 uh but here it is not we need both sides so here it is not so original analysis continues here again bullish again bullish so original analysis continues not violated so nothing nothing no bearish at all over here until so that's it one strike if you if you if you are one strike deep in the money you would have missed that you would have missed the whole thing because here it was not significant even though put side was significant call side was not significant okay. some some whipsaws will be there i think now what you will have to do is see this issue you are going to get in bank nifty more because bank nifty what is going to happen is uh, it is you will have to consider only 500 and 1000 strikes and uh, sometimes what is going to happen is one uh, 500 is going to be very close the other one is going to be far so you will have to experiment a bit and then see but most of the time it will be good if you have gone deeper into the money deeper into the money because there is more risk why are we taking deep in the money there is more risk in this call so price goes against this they are they have to change i mean uh, positions have to be adjusted immediate that's the reason why we are so, deep in the can we have that um, bar chart like in total pca of these changes like below so, build up and yeah we can bar. i we uh, will have to will be doing a complete uh, overall of like this page because prior percentage PCA. also is to be added here so we'll add and a bar chart yeah in that chart we can we'll see instantly like which is going up and which is unwinding and which is yes starting. yes that is definitely planned yes that is there so, so you may also want to add the column picker on this screen. will uh, sir will yeah, yeah it will be there yeah. column picker uh, column selector is going to be added in in all data tables in all data tables sir if you why change will be in percentage that will be fine yes yes we'll we'll do that we'll yeah. do that yes yeah only yeah we'll we'll add percentage here no yes so yeah this is it so you'll have to experiment you'll have to experiment we probably i'll i'll also be experiment i have been monitoring this for a while but uh, i have not looked at it deeply so we'll do this exercise every weekend in webinar so we i can discuss more i can give you more ideas next time so but you you can from your side you can check for bank nifty it's going to be lot more complicated if we see bank nifty now uh, here uh, let us take this as an example now here this is interesting now 35 this is near 35 200 so what i'll have to do is uh, go nearest 1000 like strike it. and nearest 500 strike i'll go so this is in the money now now this issue is this is closer to the money this is a little bit sorry yeah this is just 200 strikes in the money and this is like 300 in the money so now the whole scenario can be a little bit uh, the effect can be a little bit different so you, you need i need to check this thoroughly i'm not sure how much in the money i should go and all that because for nifty 200 strikes probably is a good thing to Uh, start now here let me see what has happened uh, here so for this why is... break up which time frame will be good uh, 5 minutes or 15 minutes uh, 15 minutes is what i suggest uh, or all analysis yeah. no i break up because see 5 minutes or so what is going to happen is uh, yeah, you will get too many too many things to look at and it is not this then you will have to first decide what percentage of oi change is going to be significant here obviously it will not be 10% because you will not get 10% because this is only 5 minutes we can get clarity clarity is there because uh, definitely i i think 15 minutes would be better i have been monitoring 15 15 minutes and for me 10% uh, oi change is significant based on this combined 
मुझे ना अपना इम्प्लॉयड वॉर हम स्टॉक्स में बेसिकली काम करते हैं मल्टीपल स्टॉक में डेल्टा में तो क्या क्या वॉल पे काम करते हैं तो इंडिया बुल्स है तो इसका वॉल रहता है सिक्सटी थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव ऑलमोस्ट सेवेंटी कुछ रहता है तो क्या उसका वॉल बढ़ जाता है पर तो हम शॉर्ट करते हैं ऐसा सब करते हैं तो उसका कुछ स्कैनर वगैरह है जो इम्प्लाइड वॉल रहती है आई वी मैंने ना एक कॉन्सेप्ट है ना कॉन्सेप्ट में देखा था उसमें बता रहे थे एक बार और ऑप्शन में भी है तो आप में मैं चेक कर रहा था लेकिन मुझे मिल नहीं रहा था बहुत टाइम से तो आपका ये भी नंबर तो मैं सुधर सर पूछ के ये यही चाहिए आपको या और कुछ चाहिए हां बस ये यही चाहिए हाँ। लेकिन मल्टीपल स्टॉक जैसे आईवी है अभी ये आरटी है आरटी इंडिया है बा पर उसका 36 वॉल चल रहा है और सडनली कुछ इवेंट्स आया कुछ भी हुआ तो उसका वॉल 45 जितना हो गया तो अपने स्कैन करेंगे तो टॉप 10 में या टॉप 15 में आना आ, आएंगे तो आपको हां ये आईवीपी से हां ये आईवीपी से शॉर्ट कर लीजिए आईवीपी आप करेंगे तो ये टॉप 10 देख लीजिए ये वॉलेटाइल है बहुत वॉलेटाइल क्योंकि इसका मतलब आईवीपी से आईवीपी से चेक कर ट्रैक करना पड़ेगा हां डिसेंडिंग शॉर्ट कीजिए डिसेंडिंग सो पूरे हाई वाले ऊपर आ जाएगी टॉप 10 देख लीजिए ये परफेक्ट रैंक है ये हां वो मतलब आईवी भी क्या मतलब वो तो 100% वो है कि इसके बेसिकली नीचे ही रहता है ये स्टॉक वो बताते हैं ना परसेंटेज हां आईवीपी मतलब 90% ये इसके नहीं हां नहीं आईवीपी 90% इसके नीचे वॉल रहता है हां बराबर ये जो करंट करंट वॉल जो है तो पिछले 1 साल में 90% ऑफ द टाइम इसके नीचे था ये दिखाता है यानी कि ये बहुत हाई है इसका मतलब ये दिखाता है ओके मिर्जा मान ने डेल्टा न्यूट्रल स्ट्रेटजी यूज करते सर इसकी वजह से ओके 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 हां ठीक है ओके सर थैंक यू सर ओके ओके सो एनी एनी क्वेश्चंस हियर आई वाज एक्सप्लेनिंग दिस सो फॉर बैंक निफ्टी आई थिंक इट विल बी बेटर इफ यू कैन एज एन एक्सरसाइज इफ यू कैन यू कैन डू दिस सी बट ओवर हियर इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग अबाउट बैंक निफ्टी इज दैट दिस इज एक्चुअली द होल बिल्ड अप इज हैपनिंग ऑन द कॉल साइड Uh, but on the put side uh, uh, it is it is slightly bearish here it is indicating bearish but on the on the put side it is not confirming it 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 did confirm a little bit uh, initially but actually build up was there not unwinding we are not seeing unwinding at all so it is it is mostly that is what uh, the chart also is indicating it's a sideways to down so this is mostly uh, steady build up on the call side and a small unwinding on the put side so it is not significant not significant to go short that is why uh, this is just sideways it's not enough to go short but you, you can still take a stance that uh, this is overall sideways to down based on this now let Hello. me see if, yeah sir i am speaking to sir parumar yes sir sir i just want to ask you that uh, is there have any, any scanner in your uh, eye chart there we can uh, see the which strike price uh, contract is removing and which strike price contract is adding like the short uh, build up or short uh, scanner to see the differences because the uh, first day it happens that the market is showing the strength on the bull side but problem is that the price is coming down because uh, 15000 uh, 350 uh put put writing side uh, contract is unwinding so this is the difference which i want to show uh, there is any option to where i can see that scanner okay, which track price contract is unwinding or short build up or long build up uh nothing nothing like that actually i believe uh, cuz like here that. in your in your uh, site uh, we, we are showing that uh, okay so everything is showing there but there is a uh, difference in which track price is contract is unwinding something like that yeah because in that I, time I we, yes. got your got your point yeah because if you select yeah. a strike then it is showing but you before yes. selecting you want want to know yeah that is a good good idea actually good idea i'll yeah, it because down. because that time happened that i i just see the strike price spot price and i just took the uh, call option uh, i just buy the call option but happen is that the suddenly price is fall down 
prices pull down 15 to 20 points and then suddenly i just observed that the uh, uh, 15350 strike price uh, unwinding 4 lakh for uh, volume yeah. so this is the difference of why price is coming down okay sir does sure. the option chain not show the sorry the option, no, option chain. chain what happens is with option chain why ch- why change will show you compared to previous day uh, of course in the next uh, ch- next option chain update we are going to have a session why change column also which will tell you what is happening since morning but that also will not tell you what is happening in the last 15 minutes it would be excellent if uh, this can be we can do this uh, we can have a session column so basically that can be a different scan that we will show you option chain Uh, display only but we can you can select the time interval and it will tell you in the last 15 minutes what has happened over all these strikes so that will be you can quickly jump to it and probably you can go to jump to break why break up or wherever and then you can monitor that so that's a, i that's a good idea i am noting it down so i will do something like that that could be useful hello yeah Uh, sir, this uh, future OIS uh, OI builder, uh, there is a every time we have to search for the symbol, right? So, can you do something that we can uh, add the favorite watch list or something in future OI? Future OI breakup. Future OI uh, builder. So, no, uh, the second home key that you made, right? Future. Okay, builder OI OI scan. Sorry, OI scan. Future OI scan. Ah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this. Could... लेकिन वो प्लान तो है अगर अभी काम चालू तो नहीं हुआ है प्लान तो है उसका ओके सो आई आई stop this over here because uh, we only have about uh, half an hour i can take half an hour uh, and i need to cover few other things that people had asked for so for so i'll stop this over here uh, now let me go to uh, yeah why scan people had said uh, how to uh, quickly select stocks so i had shown this before also so you can uh, if Uh, look at uh, which side the market is so basically how would you do that uh, i would still suggest this immediately Hello. yeah basically apne iron fire rehta hai iron fire mein apne jaise koi bhi strategy apne create kiya to nifty mein generally 200 point mein abhi main friday ko strategy create karta hu baad mein monday ko main wapis 200 mein karta hu baad mein wo tuesday ko aur यूज़े को अपन डेढ़ सौ में करते हैं और ऐसे वैनस से हंड्रेड और थर्ड से थर्ड से हंड्रेड को करते हैं ऐसा कुछ सिस्टम में रहता है कुछ प्रीमियम कितना अपने को डेबिट स्प्रेड बना या क्रेडिट स्प्रेड बना तो कितना कितना प्रीमियम डेबिट है क्रेडिट है ऐसा सब मल्टीपल मिल सकता है नहीं एक तो एक तो सब स्प्रेड्स में देख सकते हैं या आयन फ्लाई का आयन फ्लाई का प्रीमियम मॉनिटर कर सकते हैं इसमें लेकिन पर्टिकुलर अपने तो एक ही का करेंगे ना वो जैसे आपने अभी क्या वॉल का दिखाया ना एक बाजू का कितना वॉल वो डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर हुआ है वो करो ऐसे नहीं होगा तो ऊपर लिए वैसे 200 पॉइंट 150 पॉइंट 100 पॉइंट आयन फ्लाई बटरफ्लाई बाद में कैलेंडर स्प्रेड जैसे आपने को क्रिएट करना हो ऐसा ऐसा, ऐसा तो नहीं है ऐसा स्कैन वगैरह तो ऐसे कुछ नहीं है प्लान ये प्लान भी है लेकिन ये अभी हमने डिसाइड नहीं किया है कि कब करेंगे अच्छा अच्छा कोई बात नहीं ओके सो हियर या वाई स्कैन इफ यू once you know over here the day kind of day that is if if this is positive at the start of the day uh, around 9:30 9:45 or so go and start uh, checking this uh, look for bullish stocks because since the day is bullish you would probably trade bullish say greater than 1% i have filtered just say greater than 1 and press enter in this box itself and then uh, why change percent look for greater than 3 so you get you get a short list of stocks which you can monitor and you can also make sure that for the last 60 minutes also it's positive by looking at lb here long build up only over here 
So if once you once you have these stocks, you can probably uh, go and look at these uh, charts and then decide on that. Let us take. Uh, This this is just telling you that uh, that you now this is positive for the day. Now from here you will have to you will have to dig to dig into each of the chart and then see where you want to buy. Want to buy this this will probably be clear by um, 920, 925, 930. You can monitor and then probably after that uh, after this then you can take a position. Have have a obviously have a stop loss or so and then exit based on that. But if you see most of these at that, not all will continue for the whole day. But there'll be few you can, you can, overall the trend is up. So you, you can, based on that, you can know what indicators you will use and what time frame you will, you will use and all that is a completely different matter. You will have to experiment with it. Maybe you can use uh, say five minutes and then go with uh, RSI or whatever. Uh, you will have to you will have to decide on that but as far as selection of stocks is considered this will give you a good list if you have identified the initial direction of the market just take this direction just take this direction scan only for that so i am looking since it was positive i am looking only at positive stocks Anival. Okay, not liquid, so forget about it. Lab. Uh, sir, after entering the filtered value, like you had to price yeah. change greater than one and OI greater than three percent, right? Yeah, so you'll have to press and en enter inside the box itself. This box right, itself. Right. Yeah, enter and press enter immediately. Otherwise, uh, yeah, it will not take it. Actually, I'm using on mobile. I had entered these values, but it is not filtering. It is. What is happening? Sorry. Uh, I had, I'm using this site on mobile. After putting these value price change greater than one and OI changing greater than three percent, so, so it should automatically it will filter out. Or we have to press anyone here anywhere else. Uh, let me check mobile. Yeah, I think somebody had reported an issue on mobile about this. Because on mobile it is not get auto in automotive it is not getting filter. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, just do do one thing. Uh, just send me a message tomorrow on Telegram in the group or directly to me. I'll check with my team and I'll let you. Know. Because I had I had uh, discussed this once with the team and they had told me something about it. So I'll I'll let you know. Okay. And, yeah. So this overall, as I said, it gives you a good list of stocks uh, that are that are uh, moving or moving in the right direction. So this you can use this to filter out uh, stocks and use this. This was, I think, one question somebody had. Let me check whatever what other questions people have. So I'll start from the beginning. All questions. Need to know what to do. picking stocks. Yeah, VJ, VJ had uh, this question, so I hope this is clear. To him. Yes, sir. thank you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, Straddles. Okay. If, uh, somebody had said hide unhide columns uh, in. There was a question about our hide and hide columns. I had already shown that, I guess. Uh, you can hide and hide columns using this select columns. So you can uncheck this if you want to hide, check this if you want to display the columns. What else? Uh, Okay, why uh, there was one uh, someone had said why after 235 it shoot up there is unwinding on both sides see after 235 245 or so uh, people start 
closing their intraday position. So you will see unwinding on both sides. So there is no point analyzing that. So that is the thing about uh, these unwinding after uh, at the end of the market runs. And on expiry days, it will be a lot more prominent. So just don't analyze it this at the end of the day, especially after three o'clock, I say, after three o'clock, but sometimes it has starts happening a bit slightly before that also. Uh, somebody had asked, uh, is volume and why in quantity or lot? Where exactly is this? I, Kiran Raj had asked. See, volume, uh, all these are in uh, quantity. So if you want in lots, you can click this. Now these will be in lots. Uh, so this uh, this option has not added been added in other uh, tools. So we'll be we are in the process of doing that. But if you want to see in lots, then you can click this. Um, other questions? Tushar here yesterday. Okay. okay. Sir, your uh, in I chart uh, your options for the future uh, OI breakup is quite uh, awesome also, sir. Where we can see the which stocks are uh, getting a long build up and which stocks is getting the short build up, which is uh, mostly uh, useful for me to take the trade okay. with the conviction. Okay, which which tool did you say? Which one was that? Uh, futures uh, OI breakup. Futures OI breakup. Yes. Oh. Where we oh, can sorry, see future. the positions uh, where uh, in the stocks where institute put their money and uh, taking the money from the market. They are okay. showing uh, with the uh, select interval, different different interval. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yes. Sure. Okay. Any other questions? Let me take. I'm just going through the uh, questions in the chat. So just give me a minute. Uh, I'll just uh, if there are any questions that I missed, then I'll probably. Trend, can it be analyzed by IVR IVP? No, actually, trend cannot be analyzed by IVR IVP. It just shows you the volatilities and uh, how the volatility is with respect to previous range, historical range. So only that. Um, okay. okay, that's it. I think that whether any, any questions anybody has, uh, if nothing is there, we can close that. Uh, sir, I had actually contacted you a few days also in Telegram, but uh, at that time you was not well, and later on I was also not able to connect you. Okay, I just okay. want to uh, I just want to know that in this options now options mm -hmm. uh, options data, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, can I we have any trend line for volume versus open interest? Trend line for volume versus open interest. Uh, like in uh, options, if you go to the community, oh, I change that. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, I remember now you had asked me. Yeah. Right. Uh, OI versus OI by divided by volume kind of a line, right? Right, 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 right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me think about it. Uh, the only issue here is, I don't know. Like, like in all strikes, okay, if you filter out by any of these options, either by gold strikes or near ATM strikes, or near ATM strikes, whatever number of strikes we will see, and we will filter out. Okay, mm -hmm. if, with, uh, if for those particular criteria, we can get two trend lines for call versus put. One is call OI by volume. Second is put OI by volume. This is combined, is it? Combined uh, OI and combined volume. Right, 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 right. right. For that okay. particular filter criteria. Okay, okay. Actually, that would be a great tool to sense the market where the big money is involved. Okay. Okay. And let me, I'll one minute, let me note this down. Okay. Okay, I'll, I've noted this. Let me check this once uh, manually. I'll get the data in the spreadsheet and I'll just because, plot and uh, check. Because yeah. everyone, every data is within this tool, okay? Just to plot yeah. this, just to use those data points. For yeah, yeah, data is definitely there. Yeah, we just need to plot it. So, uh, yeah, I just need to make sure I'll let me check and confirm that uh, it is useful. So then, and you're saying right. why, right? Not why change versus why versus volume. Why change actually both that uh, volume is for particular that dinner? I mean, that yeah. volume.
that volume for a particular day is for that versus volume uh, for that day only. Okay, right? so it has to be versus OI change. It has, uh, it has to be OI change divided by uh, that day volume okay. only. Got it. Uh, okay. Let me let me check this, uh, and I'll I'll just plot this internally. I'll check it thoroughly, and then. Uh, there, there, sir. If if someone want to use, so they he can take on those criteria. Otherwise, if we don't want to, then he can uncheck those. Yes, yes, just, sure. okay. just like others IV and others criteria. Yeah, yeah, sure. We will we'll do something like that. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Okay. Any other questions, or we can we can close for the day. Hello, sir. Yeah. Sir, the, what is the IV skew? So how to read? How to find out? What is the use of this? Oh my God! You did you miss the discussion? Yes, we, sir. We discussed in detail. So I'll upload this by evening. We can go through that. We discussed very much in detail. Regarding IV skew, sir. Yeah, regarding IV skew. I mean, do I, of course uh, still note that uh, IV skew. Uh, the tool is actually only half done. So we still need to provide some data because that will complete the analysis. So, but I have given some idea. Uh, so you, you can check that. You, you can check, uh, you can go through the recording in the evening. So I'll post it. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. Uh, sir, in UST INR input, you tracker is it like, no, you, you were trying to make progress, no? Yeah, the work has uh, started. I've, uh, I've asked the developer to urgently do it. So okay. we'll be enabling uh, USD INR in portfolio tracker very soon. Okay, I mean, in uh, very soon means uh, one month? Uh, it should be before that only. Okay. Uh, because okay. I think uh, I'll be I'll be do, uh, starting my testing uh, within the next few days. So maybe by the end of uh, coming week. Yeah. So probably we should be able to do a max two weeks. It should be probably. Okay, that yeah. only fantastic, sir. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah, somebody had posted a question in chat. One minute. In, uh, can you show PCR in Trading View chart? Ravi had asked this. Uh, Ravi, actually, uh, PCR is available in Trading View chart. You, you, you can just. Yeah, but uh, sir. Uh, yeah. yeah, it was showing me flat. I couldn't understand uh, in the next chart. Uh, was it uh, option PCR or uh, overall PCR? Uh, I don't know. I opened the uh, FMS no, chart and added that indicator. No, you you added it on a futures or a option. Futures, futures, futures. Future. But then that should be there. One minute. Let me check. PCR. So this will add the overall PCR. Overall PCR for uh, the script. Okay. I think uh, it may be flat because you you might have zoomed in a little bit. Because this will be a, now if you see so on 15 minutes, this is clearly visible. No, three minutes I added, uh, three minutes. Three minutes will be screen. very flat, I think. The, this way, right? This is yeah. not changing much. Actually, we can, what we can do is, we can actually, if we show it in four decimals, then it will be visible. We can do that, but we are. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. But then it does not make sense also. If you see, of four, if we show it a four decimal, you will see some fluctuation here, but it is not meaningful. This okay. uh, flat is probably meaningful. It just quickly tells you that uh, these are consolidation areas. Flat PCR areas are consolidation. Areas. So you'll know quickly. Shrikanji, uh, this, this uh, PCR is futures PCR. No, futures, in the, there is no PCR for futures as such. This is... Uh, all strikes PCR basically for this particular future. So for this is Nifty's all strikes PCR. So all all uh, total Y of puts divided by total Y of calls. All strikes. So okay, for this future, uh, sir. Yeah. No, which option chain? Uh, which which uh, month option chain? This is uh, uh, whatever or... expiry you have selected. It's for that. Okay. Nay, uh, no, expiry be like for. Uh, yeah. Shrikanji, this uh, future you had selected 22nd July, okay? Yeah. So this PCR is for weekly expiry or monthly expiry? Oh, let me, I'll have to confirm this. Most likely it should be the monthly PCR itself, but uh, let, let us check one minute. This okay. cumulative voice change will have overall. 
So for Nifty, it is ending at uh, one point zero eight. This is weekly. Yeah, that will be weekly. So and this is yeah, this is monthly. This is monthly. Uh, so can I have this weekly PCR? In uh, we'll have to see how and where to provide it. Currently, it is not there. Uh, the tricky thing is going to be how how to put it here. No, sir, you can put it in uh, the settings, the PCR I chart settings itself to uh, we, the... which expiry, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there, there itself. Yeah. Okay, I'll I'll talk to my team. We'll see if, what we can do. Shrikanji, if we can provide this time, it would be very helpful. Okay, sure. Uh, because the uh, because market because major volumes are on weekly expiry, not on monthly expiry. Yeah, yeah, very true. Yes, correct. Sir, also you can consider uh, in the same uh, dialogue, you can consider selecting uh, three near ATMs or four near ATMs. Uh, <laughs> that is uh, here, uh, there is very I limited know, capability so, yeah. is, is possible here. I mean, say this is a third party tool, then there's not much we can do actually. So, okay. but I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll see what I can do. But, but, but this, this, uh, this PCR I chart. If it is the last month of expiry, then it would be for that uh, that particular week only, na? Yeah, yeah, that's right. If you are looking uh, now, if you go to June, say, if you go to June, you see for June, it'll be, now this is last week. If you are looking at the last week, then it'll be last weekly expiry, so obviously, because it is the June expiry PCR itself. Uh, so for, for, for the last week only, it would be the, for that week. For that, yeah, week. yeah, for that week, yes. This is what that, right. that week is, yeah. Only for that is only for one day, so, right? sir. Yeah. Uh, not for one day, sir. It will, it will be for the four week complete week, na? Yeah, sorry, yeah, for only for one week. That is what I'm uh, only for uh, one week for, for the last week, right? Yeah, yeah. So, sir, it's a humble request if we can put this for the uh, this PCR chart, okay, if we can put this for respective expiry. Sure. You you can still uh, if you plot add the money option, you can you can still. Uh, I mean, one minute. Huh? Okay, sir. Now this now this particular PCR is uh, weekly PCR. Okay, no, but this will be for the option actually. Yeah, yeah. Okay, got it. Now I'll I'll get it done. I'll we'll see what to do. That would be a that is almost a required thing actually. <laughs> I'll talk to my team about this. Please, sir. Okay. 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 We'll we'll uh, we'll close here then. If there is.